You may have noticed my feelings regarding gaming on Linux. I personally can't wait until I can say, bye bye Windows, I'm gaming on my favorite OS now. And it seems like Linus also knows the feeling, but what caused him to say this? And Nvidia has been the single worst company we've ever dealt with. So Nvidia, fuck you. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out. Brought to you by Gamefly. Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OSL, your source for open source. So everything went pretty smoothly. You burned a disk image, allocated some space on your drive, and your bootloader even works. You jump into your newly installed Linux distribution with no problems at all. Then suddenly your computer locks up and your vision is flooded with the blinking light of your caps locks button. You, my friend, have just been screwed. It's likely a hardware problem, but why? Let's use the expression of Linux being a small fish in a big pond. Mac is a bigger fish, and Windows even bigger still. I think Linus was probably upset, not because of the big fish, little fish concept, but the dietary requirements of those bigger fish. For instance, after you take care of feeding Windows and Mac, all Linux is left with is no support for high-end hardware. I mean, everyone I've really talked to that has dealt with Linux for longer than a year has had some type of hardware issue, myself included. So I've had sound problems, um, just driver issues galore. Enough of my ranting, let's get to the bigger picture here. So gaming in Windows uses an engine called DirectX, which you may guess is only Windows compatible. So Linux and Mac can't use DirectX. However, Linux uses OpenGL, which Mac also uses, and it's also compatible for Windows. So what's the downside, right? I mean, it's not like OpenGL games look worse. Check this out. Here are some of my favorite games that are rendered with OpenGL that you probably would have never expected. updated OpenGL list in the description bar. So I think the reason we can be legitimately ticked off at vendors is because companies like NVIDIA are contributing to that vicious cycle. So here's what I mean. The proprietary DirectX Windows only drivers have a track record of being well supported. Well, they are well supported because the people see OpenGL and they don't have bug um, reports, they don't have, you know, add-ons and extensions because they just don't have as much popularity. So the game developers are like, well, I want a highly supported, you know, engine, so I'm going to develop for DirectX. So it becomes a huge self-fulfilling prophecy that way. But don't be a sad panda just yet. There are tons of projects happening right now that are focused on getting those mainstream games on the Linux. Some of them that we've talked about already are Steam. Um, that's Valve is promising that's coming to Linux and they're hiring Linux developers. There's also talk of EA's Origins coming to us, which excited at least three gamers in the entire world, and the Humble Indie Bundle. They release a bunch of popular independent games in a package all the time and it's for a great cause. Just mentioning that puts a huge dent in our games list, but we can do better and there's a lot more games out there, as well as applications that are there to help that you guys may not know about. Desura. It's really much more than a digital distribution application. It's a beautiful Steam-esque client that has a straightforward way to play games on Linux. You find a game you like, pay for it if you have to, and then install it right away. Desura boasts that games are patched regularly and offers a bunch of support for add-ons and mods. Play on Linux is similar to Desura in that it's software that allows you to play games that are designed for Windows. This is sweet because it's based on Wine and acts almost as a GUI for it. Not to mention you don't have to worry about installing it from source and compiling it like you do with Wine. Play on Linux is installed by just a couple copy and paste into the command line. OnLive is also an option. There's no client yet for Linux, but that's okay. OnLive is all about you being able to play and run your games using their servers and not even touch your operating system. This makes it easy to play a game that doesn't have Linux support because all the sound and video is streamed real time to your browser, which I think is pretty dreamy. 
being kind of a newbie in this giant open source and Linux community, I've definitely found that people, though prideful and really structured, they're not afraid to pay for what they want and what they need. And Kickstarter is an excellent source for that. It's all about power to the people, having your money directly impact the project that you want to see succeed. One of the most successful examples I found about a game company extending Linux support is this one, Wasteland 2. The pledges are on the side, and as you can see, over 61,000 people backed this project. But it only took a small percentage of those backers to ask for Linux support, and you'll see that the company responded with an unequivocal yes. But you don't need to contribute a million bucks to a project before companies start to consider Linux. I found Shadowrun Return when it was only a few thousand dollars donated, and right out of the gate they were promising development for Linux. Yay! Check out Gaming on Linux for an updated feed of the state of, well, gaming in Linux. What do you think is the most important thing to help bring mainstream games to Linux? What projects are you most excited about? Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. Peaches has a question for you. How much gaming can you handle? She can handle a lot. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as you like, or until you hit Carpal Tunnel. Once you're done blistering your thumbs on one game, just send it back and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. Have no fear, if you simply can't stop button mashing in Soul Calibur, just click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Oh, and of course, Gamefly has no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. And if you're a fan of this show, OS Alt, I'm a fan of giving you a 15-day free trial when you go to Gamefly.com slash OS Alt. What's not to love?